What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lethal. Um, I just got up from work. We about to do a reaction to this fight, uh, Chris Ariola versus Andy Ruiz. Um, I was just watching a little bit of it. I was like, why not just do a reaction? So we gonna jump right into it, man. No jokes. You know what I'm saying? Finna see what's going on here. Terribly out of shape, and even in that fight, Lennox, he was dangerous. Anthony Joshua never stayed in the, in the pocket. No, but he boxed, he jabbed, he got out of there. I mean, he boxed all the way to the. So, basically, so far what I've seen, um, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I don't see. I don't. See, I see both of them. They they doing what they have to do. They inching in. You feel me? They, you know what I'm saying? They they know what they doing, man. They um trying to fill each other out, throwing combinations, putting their hands up. I like what I see, man. So far, I like what I see. They doing pretty good. This is a this is actually one of a fight I should have watched. I don't know why I didn't. It's work. It's just been killing me. Um, I didn't get a chance to actually like go somewhere to go watch it. But we watching it right now. Around it, you know, most most trainers would say, "Well, step it up. This guy hasn't touched you. You know, try and knock him out." But uh, Anthony Joshua was just trying to get that win. Wow, hard, fast right hand from Ruiz. You see how quick he is. Andy looking good, man. Able to move his head out of danger from Ariola. Good head work there and head movement from Andy Ruiz. Hey, Andy Ariola, he ain't no joke, man. You got to remember, man, he's used to going to wars. He used to getting this. He used to, like, being in, like, tough, tough battles. Like, I didn't see that boy. I'm talking about blood everywhere. Like, he keep it going. Like, that's one thing I know about him. I'm telling you, like, he know how to go to war. I'm not saying Andy don't. I've seen Andy as well. Before he even um got his chance to fight, um... You know, what's the name and he won. Like, I've been watching Andy for a while. I always I always said Andy was going, he going to be somebody. Like, if they gave him a chance, he was going to be somebody. I always thought that in my mind. Um, because I used to watch him, like, fight and shit. Like, he would, like, literally go. He would go. Like, he he wanted to, he, like, quick, man. He a big boy, but he quick as hell. So, I really like him, too, as well, Andy. He one of my favorites as far as, like, heavyweights because... He like he know how to move, even though he got a lot of weight to him. So I like I like them. I just like them. I like both of them. With the chance of the body. It's funny how our view has changed of Ruiz, hasn't it? Look at this combination. And after that performance against Joshua at Madison Square Garden, now we expect big things out of Ruiz. Yeah, and you saw, we saw Anthony Joshua use the ring, box, and keep Andy on the outside. So you gotta, you gotta imagine that Joe, that's a page that Joe is taking from the book of uh, Anthony, Anthony Joshua and his camp. You see it in the first round. Good first round, Andy Ruiz, very quick. And able to this is just a matter of finding the timing, and we, right. he was able to find it right there. Distance, uh, timing, yeah, where his man is, yeah. all of that. Round number two, you see the punches landed in favor of Andrew Ruiz, 14 to 6. But again, he hadn't fought for a long time, hadn't fought since December. And again, he ballooned up to over 300 pounds, lost his way, stop, and then stop. found himself by training with Canelo Alvarez and his team. My fault, my fault, my fault. So yeah, this is his first fight in like, a few years so like right now I feel like like he lost a lot of weight so like for, this is you know he got a it's different for him like it's gonna be it's this gonna be a hard fight for him because when he going against somebody that's gonna keep going Two, he not used to that weight he not used to the weight loss and he gotta get himself like just used to that you know what I'm saying like he ain't got that much weight on him um I'm not going to lie. I don't think he looks as fast as he used to. But we're going to keep we going to keep watching and see like maybe he might pick up the speed. Maybe he might just be like, you know, let me just go ahead just, you know, light work, you know, boom, 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 you know, throw a combinations in and there, you know. Yeah, I mean, it should look good to me, shit. Look good to me. So far. 
there, Joe Goosen in the corner for Chris Ariola. Joe normally with us ringside. But he has worked a full camp with Ariola and again got Ariola in terrific condition. But you wondered, all right, what are you going to do to actually win this fight against a very talented and inspired Andy Ruiz? The combination there by Ruiz. Whoa, he just get he just he just got dropped. He just got dropped. No, no cap. He just got dropped. Let's see. My boy just got dropped, man. Fuck. I'm trying to see why this image look like that, but yeah, he just got dropped. He just got dropped, man. See if he recovers from that. I tell you what, he got knocked down once before by Anthony Joshua, came roaring back. He'll have to answer soon. He got caught with a short shot. Hey, and listen to Mark on his face. And we can say we've been here before, but he hasn't been here before with Chris Ariola. A stop, different stop, animal stop, in the stop. ring right now. Well, Chris, Chris should have jumped on him right there. Because once you get... He should have... I understand what Chris Ariola doing, but he definitely should have just came in there and just like, you know, not... I'm not saying go crazy. Like, ah, 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 Like... You know, bah, 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 throw more combinations. You know, you you got him. You already got him like shit. Fucking sleeping. Damn near like he dozing. Why not just finish it like that? But I mean, shit, he got his own way to do I shit. Like that. You gotta jump on him, but it may be a bit too easy. I gotta. But I always call those shots the wake up shots when you get hit. Because I gotta skip some of this because um, this is like thirty nine minutes. And I ain't got time. Hasn't been, hit, hasn't been in the ring for almost a year. I got to do my Bully Juice Challenge Day 36 today. So we finna knock that out right after this. So this is his first wake-up shot. This could be a real opportunity for Chris Ariola, though. Again, Ruiz has shown to be very resilient. But if you have Ruiz hurt, possibly slightly dazed, a little confused, right? Hey, yeah. I'm starting to take over. I got but, but I think he's smart because Ruiz is dangerous when he gets hurt. Yep. You know, especially with those flash knockdowns. That's what happened, you, like you said, with uh, Anthony Joshua. Yeah, yeah and he's fast, he's so he's going to deliver some, some fast, quick blows and, and possibly catch Chris. So I, I think Chris is doing the right thing by still continuing to pace himself and allow Andy to walk into the punches like he did that right hand. Yeah, I agree with you, Sean. Ariola dropping Andy Ruiz here in round number two at Madison Square Garden after he got dropped by Joshua. He had Joshua on the deck within 30 seconds. Has not happened here. And that's a 10-8 round for Chris Ariola. Well, the fact that Chris Ariola knows he can hurt him now, I would step to him a little bit. I wouldn't be... Oh! And train again. Oh! Oh! Ruiz got caught with a hard shot. Now Ariola is pounding right hands on him. Able to move Ruiz back again. Andrew Ruiz is going to have to be a little more forward. Ari I, I, right now, he he putting it on him. Andy, he putting it on Andy. Ariola, he doing what he's supposed to do, man. He capitalizing on that um on that knockdown. But trying to get him another one. He gets stopped three times, it's over. Like, you know, in one round, three three times, like they're gonna stop it. Very strong in this round. Ruiz able to back out. Looking good, man. Really I'm gonna watch one more round and he then I'm gonna point. skip towards the end. Dear mom, you've always done uh, a lot, but this past year. We got to see it all up close. And being close to you was my favorite part. Thanks for being the best mom ever. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Point there at the end of that round. That wasn't just a fluke freak knockdown. Up uh, the final 15 seconds. You see him, hey, he's just going for it. He's going to find some moments where he's just going to go for it. Uh, I think that was more, almost more impressive than the knockdown was that he was able to straight up against Ruiz, answer him, hurt him, and drive him back. Listen, he's still got to be smart because Andy is fast. Andy's got power behind those fast hands. Oh, oh. Ruiz hurt again. A counter left hook from Ariola. Ariola drives Ruiz back again, that time with the right hand. I told you, boy, Ariola, he... 
what it is is he used to like um he used to these wars. Like I don't I never seen Andy go against somebody that that's pretty tough, got a nice chin as well. They both got nice chins. So it was like it's your chin against his chin at this point. Like somebody gonna you know what I'm saying, he getting he getting hurt. I'm not gonna cap. He just Man, he doing good. Ariola doing good. Trading and Ariola's getting Oh Ruiz is hurt again. And he's they're letting it fly now. All action. Stop. Ariola Stop. able to hurt Ruiz with a hook and a right hand. He just found some timing and he's found, he's he's got the right distance behind the right hand. This is amazing. I'll tell you, Andy Ruiz is going to have to come up with a different recipe. Absolutely. Hey, Ariola winning to me. Look like he winning so far. He doing his thing, man. He got two knockdowns. Um, they didn't. They didn't call it, but I see two knockdowns. He's just getting beat at the right distance right now from Ariola, and he's, and he's doing the same thing over and over. He needs to switch up the attack. Yeah, walking in. Behind the, hand, the fast hands, but that's not going to do it. Right now, Chris has got the right range and distance, and he's being patient. He's he's looking for it, and when he sees it, he's releasing an unbelievable right hand. Right exactly. Now. And Ruiz is coming in too straight. He needs to be moving his upper body a little bit more. Agreed. Ruiz trying there with the jab to the body, able to land, but he's a little more tentative now because when they have both let it fly, Chris Ariola has gotten the better of it. Good hook by Ruiz. But this is a different Andrew Ruiz. Look, he is stalking right now. And he was able to stalk against Joshua in that loss because Joshua was dancing. But in the first fight, remember, he was counterpunching against Anthony Joshua. Yeah, because Anthony Joshua was doing, was doing most offense. He was throwing the punches. That's a good hook there for Ruiz. Able to hit Ariola. Talked a lot about Chris Ariola being offensively and being offensive and not enough defense. But right now, it's Andy who needs to be offensive and then defensively aware of what's going on. Wild fight so far, much more than we expected. Chris Ariola is a huge underdog, and he's had Andy Ruiz on the deck and her oh. in this fight already. I got to disagree with you, BK. This is exactly what we expected. I think we all just thought it was going to be on the other side. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> not what we expected. Besides that, yeah. Now he drives Ariola back. At any moment, Ruiz can pop you and hurt you. His hands are that fast. Sean, you didn't think you'd see Ruiz on the deck, did you? Listen, no, I, I, no, no. I, I, I didn't know what I was going to see, man. That's why I didn't make a prediction. <laughs> but, but I did know that we were going to get exactly what we are getting. So yeah, Ariola coming in at 228 really showed a lot. Nah, no lie. This is, this is exactly how I think the fight to go. Like, it was going to just go to war like this. Um, both of them, they fight the way they fight. They fight this kind of the same way. Chris Ariola. See, for me, he seems more, it's a difference, man, because Andy is not really used to this weight loss. Chris been fighting at this weight for, for a long time, so, like, he kind of, like, he know, you know, how to move at this weight class. Like, he know what he's doing. So, like, it's kind of tough for uh, Andy because he's not used to the weight that he's at now. So, it's just, like, he just got to get adjusted to, like, all the weight loss and stuff like that. That's and then he has to polish up because he hasn't fought in a long time as well. So, that's what I'm saying. But we're going to this, no question. We're gonna have to skip, man, because this is too long. I'm going to uh, end it because I got to hurry up and do this um, Bully Juice Challenge. But i seen Chris Ariola winning so far. I mean, that's what I've seen. Shit. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, we got this it. is what Chris Ariola has to do. He has to put the pressure on a little bit. Dear Mom, you've always done a lot, but this past year, we got to see it all up close. And being close to you was my favorite part. Thanks for being the best mom ever. Happy Mother's Day. Comments a little bit. They said, uh, yeah. Hard body shot there by I saw somebody say he, he had it. Let me see. He said, credit to Ariola. Didn't think he had a chance. I did, honestly, Chris Ariola definitely surprised me. I expected Ruiz to run over him. Ah, not at all. Not at all. 
I didn't see Chris Ariola. He didn't. He didn't went to wars, tougher than Andy. Like I didn't. The man is tough. Y'all don't watch him enough. That's the problem. And the exchange there, combination from Ruiz. Ruiz is very good with the jab right hand hook. Money shot, a good hard right hand to the body. Very good. Buddy. Ends the round. Him, he didn't go away. No. You know, even when things were not going, he was getting dropped. When it wasn't his night, when it was clear, even in the rematch, it was not his night. He never stopped fighting. Now. He has matched his discipline outside of the ring to his discipline inside of the ring. And the, ev yes. the, the evidence of that is him being able to manage things in that first... The first couple of rounds were not easy for him by any stretch of the imagination. Getting knocked down in the second and struggling through the, thir the third, he turned it around, but he turned oh. it around with his mentality. That was a big shot. Big hook by Ruiz. No question, Sean. He had to wonder, hey, what's going on here? Who's this guy in front of me? Yeah. This is Chris Ariola yeah. beating stop, me up. Stop my break. Yeah, stop but break. Ariola stop. shook that shoulder again, so he must have heard it again. And not quite the same. The jab doesn't look quite as sharp. You see, it's kind of pawing out there. It's not badly injured, but it's not quite the same. Ruiz. And what Ruiz is doing, he's basically punching to the body, and then he's trying to punch one over the top or straight in the middle. And his hook comes right off that right hand, Lennox. Yes. It, it is effortless to bang right over the top as the right hand is still being thrown. If I'm Joe, I tell Chris, stay with me. Stay in this fight. Stay focused. Don't revert back to your old self just eating punches and trying to deliver your own. Stay responsibly defensively and keep trying to work that jab in those one twos and land another hard shot again. That was another good right hand by Stop Ruiz to the body. Stop now, Sean, I agree move. with you. Right. If he just marches toward Ruiz, he gets He's, chopped up. That was the time he is. Championship rounds, refocus. This is a new fight. Round number 10, a strafing right hand to the body by Ruiz. Wow, he is landing that with regularity. Hey, Lennox, that's what people don't know about the championship rounds. You tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong, but nope. it's almost like the fight restarts. Oh, yeah. No, you know it, it's, it's down to the crunch. It's down to the last round, and you need every round. It's, and it comes down to the corner as well, yeah. telling you this. Yeah. Ruiz got there with a right stop. hand. Stop. Take on, a look at the guys. punches landed. You Where'd see you a wide discrepancy head? there, starting in round seven, yeah, round eight, uh, round nine. Okay. This one's much closer, but there's three rounds. He definitely, like, you can show Chris Ariola, he's definitely, like, something. He hurt something. Um, he kind of, like, not really throwing hard punches anymore. He kind of, like, anticipating his moves a lot because, you know, he probably hurt his shoulder. I know from what they were saying, I heard them say he had a shoulder injury or something like that. So he kind of like showing that right now. Let me see. Joe's job and Chris's job to say, I'm good. Yes, and of course. We get it. <laughs> He's not going to say, oh, my shoulder's hurt. I, I can't commune you anymore. He's there to fight. Randy Ruiz comes out firing in the final round. This is a championship round right here. Ariola could be in this. So now what I'm seeing is the championship uh, last round. It's the championship round. You know what I'm saying? Like. It seems like Luis just knows he's just more experienced in the championship rounds. It seems like it's been a while since I've seen Chris Ariola go to do a championship round. So he's probably doing a lot of rounds. Probably not used to this. Cause what I'm seeing, what I'm what I'm used to seeing with Ariola is he knock he knock you out. So what I'm used to seeing with him. We don't think so. We think it's wide in favor of Andy Ruiz, but again, he has a knockdown, and he's hurt Ruiz several times. Aggressive is smart. We heard that from Chris Ariola's corner, but we're stop, seeing stop. it from Andy Ruiz. And Ruiz is so fluid with those combinations and throws hard shots now. He knows it's round 12. Mutual respect from each fighter. Good jab by Ruiz up top. Ariola pulls out with that jab. He is unable to get that snap. Let's see if Ariola can get that short right hand in there. Another three punch combination from Andy Ruiz. Well, he looking good, boy. He to do he. <laughs> Stand back, you feel me? Supposed to, you know, keep that. <laughs> he he doing his thing, man. Y'all see him? He more he relaxed too. And you heard Chris Ariola say his shoulder is messed up. See, the thing is about Andrew Ruiz, he's just throwing that three-punch combination. That's a natural punch for him. He doesn't even have to throw with power. Yeah. He can just use his yeah. body to He has such natural snap and weight. Yeah. Right. 
Absolutely, Lennox. And also the right hand, left hook. There's a right hand, cuffing shot right to the ear of Ariola. Lands a hook. Hit. Andy Ruiz had to walk through some fire in his return bout from his series with Anthony Joshua. No question, but it looks like he is answering the call. Agreed. And Chris Ariola made it a lot more looking good. Than most thought. No cap. He's looking good. This has been a great fight, a great night. I didn't see the rest of the round, but these guys. We're, we're, we're looking good right now. Almost a minute left. We're both about to turn it up. It's been nonstop action. Yeah. No question. And it's had, you know, twists and turns. There's been change and switch and strategy. Andrew Ruiz learned that I just cannot Stop walk through this man. And he had to change tactics, had to change his rhythm. And it worked for him starting about round seven. Final minute now, the final round. Stop, Look at stop, this. Stop, 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 stop. Nobody told Chris what time it is. <laughs> He's got box seven in turn clock. Yeah. Here it comes. Here we go. Oh. Big hook from Ruiz in the right hand. Let's see if they have any starts left in him here in the final 30 seconds. Oh, let me tell you, the noise coming from Andy Ruiz's punches when he throws them, there's power behind that. Thumping shots. Yes. That's Ooh. a body shot. Right hand that landed on Ariola. He has eaten a lot of those shots. Another body shot from Andy Ruiz. This is why we came here tonight. This is why we're on pay-per-view. Final 10 seconds. Well, shit, that's the end of the fight, man. Um, I've already seen that uh, Andy obviously won the fight. Y'all let me know, like, who y'all think won the fight because I seen Chris Ariola getting off, but I started to notice that the weakness of the shoulder. So maybe in the other few rounds that I skipped, he might have lost his momentum and Andy just took over. I don't know. But he been wobbling Andy all the rounds that I've seen. So, yeah, y'all let me know what's going on, man. It's your boy Mike Lethal, man. I'm about to um do the Bully Juice Challenge day 36. About to knock that out right now. So, it's your boy Mike Lethal, man. And I'm out.